What kind of bird is always getting hurt? The owl. Today, I'm going to recap a 2022 action crime film called Ambulance. A quick warning, there will be major spoilers ahead. The movie starts with a night view of LA, and then we see a former Marine and Afghanistan veteran, Will Sharp. He is on the phone with a doctor, and we learn that Will took an appointment for his wife, but the hospital is not providing good services, and they have not even made the medical file of the woman. Will tells the people at the hospital to be kind to his wife as she needs treatment right away. He tells them that he is someone who has fought for this country, and he put his life in danger for the country, so he should at least get the basic respect and rights, but the man from the hospital tells him that he needs to go for coffee and hangs up in his face. His wife Amy has been listening to the whole conversation and goes on to tell him that she trusts no one in this world anymore, but still trust her husband. She tells him not to worry. He is desperately in need of $231,000 for his wife Amy's experimental cancer surgery and reaches out to Danny, his adoptive brother and a lifelong criminal. We then see an ambulance that receives dispatch orders and makes its way to the destination where an accident has occurred. This ambulance belongs to EMTs and emergency medical technicians. Cam sees that the accident is really bad. A girl sitting in the backseat has an iron rod in her stomach, and the little girl is given first aid and then rushed to the hospital. Will, on the other hand, goes to a garage full of luxury cars, belonging to his brother Danny, who shows up and welcomes him. Both brothers are happy to see each other, and this is when Will tells him that he needs his help. Danny says that he is well aware of the fact that his brother comes to see him only when he needs his help. They then go on to look at some of their childhood pics and remember the good times. Danny asks him how much he needs, and Will tells him that he needs $231,000 for Amy's surgery. Danny tells him that he can have way more than that, if he is willing to do something with them. Danny talks him into taking part in a $32 million bank heist. Though initially hesitant, Will agrees after Danny reaffirms that he is doing this for Amy. They are going to carry out the robbery through a delivery truck they stole and painted. They get into the truck and make their way to the LA Federal Bank. They get into the bank and take everything under control, but then a police officer named Zach shows up. He goes to the bank to ask out a bank teller, discovers the situation, and is held hostage by Danny. A shootout then occurs between one of the heist members and Zach's partner, Officer Mark. The Special Investigation Section, SIS of the LAPD, arrives and shoots the whole crew except Will and Danny, who retreat towards the garage. Zach attempts to escape, and during a scuffle between him and Danny, he is accidentally shot by Will. Leaving Zach to die, the brothers attempt to exit through the back of the building, but find it surrounded by police. They then hijack a Falk ambulance with paramedic Cam Thompson on board, who is treating Zack. After a chase that leads them into an alleyway, Cam makes a desperate attempt to escape using a fire extinguisher, but decides to stay when Zack starts flatlining. The ambulance is soon spotted by the police, and they start chasing it. Danny now starts helping Cam as she tries to keep Zack alive. Danny himself does not want an innocent man's death on his hand, and on top of that, the man is a police officer. We then see two more people, Pappy and Roberto. Pappy happens to be a good friend of Will and Danny's dad. Pappy receives a call from Danny, who tells him that they are being chased by the police. He tells him that if he helps them get away from the police, they will give him $8 million. As Will drives on, hitting everything in his track, Cam tells them that she is running out of emergency blood, so Will offers his own blood to Zack. But they now have a bigger problem, because now the FBI is also chasing them. Agent Clark right away recognizes Danny. He takes his team and follows the two brothers. When Cam stops Danny from shooting Mark who has been chasing them, Danny threatens to throw her off the ambulance. The police are forced to retreat, when it is discovered that Monroe's dog Netro is inside Mark's police vehicle. FBI agent Anson Clark, a past friend of Danny's, is put on the case. This deadly chase is now broadcasted on live TV, while FBI agent Clark comes to see Captain Munro and tells him that the mastermind of this robbery is a criminal named Danny, someone who has been doing this kind of stuff since he was just 17. 
He goes on to add that the man's father was an absolute legend who robbed six big banks in his time. Clark tells him that he knows Danny very well. Danny might be a criminal, but he is not a monster. He does not take people's lives, so he is not going to kill Zack. He is instead going to use Zack to get away from the police and the FBI. Captain then asks Clark to help him with this case, while Zack's condition starts to worsen and Cam says that he needs surgery right now. Danny, however, puts a gun on her head, and she understands that they cannot stop right now. She calls one of her friends who is a doctor, who starts telling her what she needs to do. Cam, with Will's assistance, begins to perform surgery on Zack, whose spleen ruptures. Despite her inexperience, Cam successfully performs the surgery, after which Zack gets in a better condition. Will then tells Cam that she does need to be scared, as they are not going to hurt anyone. Cam's doctor friend receives a call from the captain, who asks him about the surgery, but the doctor tells him that Zack is in a really critical condition, so he cannot say anything for sure. Captain now loses it. He doesn't only want to catch them, he now wants to kill the brothers. The doctor, on the other hand, has no idea that Cam did well in the surgery, which is why he told the captain that Zack could die. Captain then orders his snipers to go to different locations and try to take a shot at Danny and Will. Agent Clark, however, does not like this idea, and he calls Cam to tell her that the police are going to kill the brothers and ask her to take cover under the stretcher. Cam tells him not to make this mistake because Zack is still alive. She tells Clark that the surgery was successful and Zack is now recovering. They, however, do not listen, and Captain tells his snipers to do as he ordered before. Cam now has no choice but to tell the brothers about the snipers. She tells Danny about their plan to shoot them dead, and they turn the truck in time to get away from the attack. Danny, having had enough of Cam, decides to shoot her, but Will intervenes, causing the brothers to fight about their predicament. In the meantime, as the brothers fight on, Cam texts the FBI agent and tells them about Danny's plan. The agent then tells Cam that she needs to persuade Will to be on her side, and she needs to make the brothers fight if she wants to get out of there alive. Cam again starts taking Will's blood in order to make him weak. When she gets to know that Will is doing everything for his wife, she pretends to be sad and tries to make Will come to her side. On the other hand, we see that Pappy's men have already arranged a lot of ambulances that look exactly the same as the ones the brothers have hijacked. Their plan is to swap the ambulance and confuse the police. One of Danny's men calls him and tells him about the arrangement made by Pappy including a lot of high-tech weapons as well. The brothers partially reconcile and listen to music together to ease the tension. In the Los Angeles River, helicopters chase the ambulance as Danny shoots at them. Will and Danny then drive on the opposite lane of the interstate, creating multiple accidents. The brothers eventually manage to get to the place where Pappy's men are already waiting for them. They get out of the ambulance, and Danny tells Will that he can leave now because what is going to happen next is really dangerous. He tells his brother that he has a family to take care of, so he does not want to put his life in danger. Will, however, tells him that he also has a brother to take care of, and Danny is happy to hear that. Danny has now painted his car green. On the other hand, a lot of ambulances, identical to the one the brothers have been driving, hit the road to confuse and distract the police. The police stop and surround one of the ambulances, and in the meantime, Danny and Will manage to get away from them, taking advantage of the distraction. Danny then informs Roberto that they have safely managed to escape and tells him that he should get out of there as well. Roberto sets up a bomb in his ambulance and jumps out of it, and when the ambulance gets close to the point where a lot of police officers have gathered, Roberto detonates the bomb and many people die. When Roberto is running out of there, one of the police officers spots him and chases him. Pappy's men then deploy machine guns on separate cars to cause additional damage. This attack is actually a distraction, so that Roberto has enough time to get out of there, but the police officer named Mark does not stop chasing him. Mark ends up catching Roberto, and when the two fight, Roberto is killed. When Pappy learns that his son is dead, he goes mad with grief. Amidst all this crossfire, the captain also dies. On the other hand, Will and Danny escape to Pappy's hideout, where Pappy demands the brothers to leave Zack and Cam for them to deal with. 
Zack, on the other hand, has now woken up, and he gives Cam a gun to protect herself. Will refuses to cooperate, and teams up with Danny to kill Pappy and his crew. In the chaos, Cam accidentally shoots Will, using Zack's gun. Now they have two patients in the ambulance. Danny takes the ambulance to a hospital, but discovers Zack's gun and becomes enraged when Cam reveals that she was the one who shot Will. Danny vows to kill Cam along with himself on live television before confronting the police. Will, left with no other choice, shoots Danny in the back. Danny apologizes to Will before he dies from his injuries. The police arrest a heavily injured Will and take him inside for surgery. Cam secretly gives some of the heist money to Amy for her surgery. And Zack, when questioned by the police about his injuries, tells them that Will saved his life. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. You should watch the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more video like this.